everyone, this is Coco Sip here, and I am bringing you guys Euro Truck Simulator 2. And I'm actually doing a job right now. I just started, I'm probably still level 1, I'm not sure, but I think this is like my third job that I'm doing so far. So, I just wanted to let you guys be a part of this. So my shifting, I'm trying to get used to my shifting, so I'm doing the standard shifting for right now, but I will change back to my super duper advanced shif shifting so I still have to put it in gear I'm just not doing half shifts I'm doing full shifts today just so I could practice more of my shifting that's all I'm doing this is just a different type of technique don't worry I don't want you guys thinking I'm slacking in my shifting I'm not I promise it's just another way of uh, learning shall I say at least it's not automatic and I have to learn that certain parts of the road I may have to drive on the left, but I think I'm good here. I think I have to drive more so on the correct side than I'm used to. I think. Oh my god, this is scary when... Okay, so we're just turning right. So there's no one coming. I believe we're on this side of the road. Yes, because we have that sign there. The circle with the slash through it. Alright, so we're looking around. I didn't even tell you guys where I was going. I apologize. <laughs> I will let you guys know later on where I'm going. It's a surprise. How about that? Totally surprise you guys. Holy cow. Alright, so still take four. And we're gonna turn right here. I don't wanna check my mail right now. <laughs> I'm driving. I don't have my own truck, so we're just borrowing a truck. Ew, and I took that curb not so good. I'm trying my best here to... Oh my god, look at that. He's like flying around the corner there. Okay, so we can go 50 miles an hour. So just like with any other shifting, you still have to hit um, the range button. Now you can switch over to the higher gears. I still have that set up. I'm just doing full shifting instead of half shifting. So let's do that. No, I had it in the right gear. We don't want to go past 50. Ooh, look at that tractor. Alright. My steering wheel, I'm still trying to get the settings uh, set. Let's go back down a little bit, just a hair. We just braked and decreased it down to 7. So yeah, if you guys hear a rattle, that's only because my steering wheel, I don't know what it is with the settings yet. It's with the Logitech. I'm using the Logitech uh, G27. So I'm still getting a little bit of rattle on my steering wheel. It's kind of loose. It hasn't, for some reason, it has not taken to... There we go. We can take this in fifth gear. Why not? Normally I don't take turns in fifth gear, but why not? This is not a, a car, you know? It is a truck. There we go. Got stuck there. But, but anyway, um... I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> We're going to keep straight. I'm not going to go up that curb. I don't think we have to. No, we just go straight. I don't want to go too fast because I know I'm going to have to downshift it soon. Because we're going up a hill. So I want to keep my momentum, momentum for sure, with this steering wheel. If you guys hear that, it sounds like really, really bad. It's garbled. Garbled steering wheel. Alright, so we're gonna look to our left. Oh my god, and there is a car coming. Holy cow, we just missed that. 
We just missed that. Alright, so we are going to be going from Berlin, Germany to Dresden, Germany. I forgot to mention that in the beginning, but just wanted to let you guys know. We have plenty of gas, we don't need to rest at all, which is good. I'm not too concerned about that right now. So we can go 80, which is good. And this guy gonna cut in front of me? He, uh, I don't know, he was thinking about it. But it is pretty beautiful here. He's definitely thinking about it. I don't want to go too fast. Back up a little bit in my seat because I'm like really close up to the steering wheel. Forgot I could use my cruise control. You guys can set it. So we have it set to 79. We'll raise it up to 80. Alright. Now we'll just steer until whenever we have to get off. But yeah, it's very beautiful here. Now if I can find a fatal attraction, then I will stop. And it will be... Uh, selfie time. We'll take a whole bunch of photos. I know how much you guys enjoy me doing that. Going on the curve, I think we can take it. Ah, we're good, we're good. Alright, and it looks like we're approaching our exit here. We're about to get off the freeway. So I'm just trying to slow down a hair, but I always break too early, you know? I don't know why, I just get really scared. Because I know one of these times I'm gonna blow right past it and my shifting's gonna be horrible. I can feel it. I just know I'm gonna do that somehow. Oh no, it looks like we're it's a continuous. So that's good. But now it's starting to rain. Can you guys believe that? It's totally raining now. Good thing I found my windshield wipers. Those would definitely come in handy. I don't know why I don't... Ah, I should turn on my high beams. I don't know why. I'm like those people where I'll keep... Uh, driving until it gets super dark and then I'll turn my lights on but you know they always say when it's raining you gotta put your your headlights on I'm like not me uh-uh keep going <laughs> I can see just fine no I'll, I'll probably turn them on here soon ooh 
see some wind turbines. Those are my favorite. My favorite time is when the sun's out and it's still raining. I don't know what that is. But there's just something like that's so romantic about that. Because you don't always see that, you know? You always see dark clouds when it's raining. But it's amazing when the sun is out and it's shining so bright and it's raining. It just reminds me of, like, happy tears. I don't know. It's like a good happy rain, I guess. Like, it's never, like, thundering. Like, have you ever had it storm when it's raining? No, it's like that nice, not so heavy rain. Sometimes it's light, but, you know. Alright, I'm getting off here because we're about to approach and I'm going way too fast and oh, I'm not really good at breaking. See what I mean? Oh my god! See, I'm not good at that. That was horrible. Sorry, you guys. That's like horrible shifting. I apologize. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Like, I'm not consistent. I'm either, either break too soon or way too late. Or I also have to remember that, you know, this is not a car. Like... You can downshift. You don't have to downshift all the way down to one. You can just downshift to the appropriate speed and then still make your turn. Whereas in a car, yeah, obviously you do the same method. But the gears are completely different, you know, compared to a car and a truck. So I just have to learn this. I feel like it's like broken in half, you know. Like third gear in a car is probably more like sixth gear in a truck. So you can actually take turns in fifth gear. So it's more like second. Sometimes you can take gears in second and third. It all depends on your speed, but and how fast you're going. That's in a car. That's what I'm referring to. All right. So I kind of did that downshift, okay, but and then I don't know. I don't know how I'm messing up this gear. But, uh, not too bad. It's like, I know I, I put my foot, like, in the clutch, but sometimes, it, I don't know, it just doesn't register to mix that garbled sound. It's like, ah! Like, I'm um, grinding the gears, so I don't mean to. I promise. I think I've only grinded the gears in my car maybe once or twice, but that was an accident when my foot slipped. It wasn't, like, intentional. Oh my gosh, you guys see that? It's lightning! I'm so scared! I don't like lightning. I don't like thunder. I hate storms. And I'm driving in one. <laughs> but we should almost be at our destination. So it shouldn't take like too much longer. Hopefully this rain stops and um, you know and the sun comes out and then we end the day, you know, with a good good day. I don't know, it's obviously it's getting dark, so and I'm definitely speeding. I need to slow down some. <laughs> I keep forgetting too that, you know, I can always use my cruise control. I always forget that. But yeah. So, always remember that. You guys can always set it. You can always resume it. I know I say this like a thousand times. But at least I have my headlights on now. That's always a good thing. Because it's really dark now. <laughs> And, uh, you definitely want to watch out. Like, this would be cool if this game had, like, deer or something that would, like, run out. And that would affect. Obviously, I don't want to hit a deer. But still, that's more realistic, right? If they're calling it a simulator. So, maybe in certain parts it has deer. Okay. And I guess we are approaching our destination. So we will uh, park this lovely trailer. I'm uh, hopefully we got a good one. It's not too hard, right? Doesn't look like it. I think we can do this, you guys. We totally got this.
Okay, everyone, so I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about this episode. And stay tuned for some more Euro Truck Simulator 2 uh, episodes. I really enjoyed this. This is a, a really good game. I enjoy playing this and American Truck Simulator. So stay tuned for another video. Thanks, you guys. First of all, what went through my mind is how stupid am I to actually volunteer for this.